Hello! Remember these uh, 18650 sodium ion batteries from HakadiBattery.com? Well, Hakadi Battery very kindly got in touch and said, Would you like some more sodium ion batteries? And I said, Yes, I would. So they've also supplied me with these. These are 33 140s. And that's not all. Also, they sent some of these, and these are 46145s, and they're pretty big. So, for each of the 18650 uh, 1500 milliamp hours, four of these 10 amp hour cells, and these ones are 18 amp hours. But that's not all, they've also sent me a couple of these which are Hakadi sodium ion battery BMSs. So two of those. And these BMSs are 4S BMSs, a 20 amp charge current, 20 amp discharge current. Now it's very easy to get hold of end caps for 18650s. These are two way uh, end caps. So let's slide those into there. That's uh, going to be okay for my four 18650s. So that looks like that. Now, although these cells have printed on them 32140, uh, they're actually 33 millimeters diameter, but it's pretty easy getting 33 millimeter uh, end caps. So these are they, and those fit in there. They're actually quite loose in there. So the 33140s look like that uh, in a 4S pack. Now these ones, things are a bit more tricky. They say on them SIB, sodium ion battery, 46145. And I did actually manage to track down some 46 millimeter uh, holders, but this is actually 47 millimeters diameter. I think that's actually in the spec. Yes, here it is, size 47 by 150. Now the length uh, depends on where you measure it to. If you measure it to the end of these studs, I think it's more like 160. If you measure it to the uh, length of the cylindrical part, it's more like this, 145 millimeters. So these 46 millimeter uh, holders, one of them got a bit damaged in the post. They've got these little um, posts on them. These two got broken off. So I thought, okay, well, I'll have a go at cutting this one up. So I've cut sections of the circle out on this one. And although you can push that into there, it is very distorted. And uh, so it's not going to work terribly well like that. And I'm starting to think actually at this size and weight, what is the weight? Is it on here? Yes, 480 plus or minus 50 grams. I think I'd be better off actually just getting a 48 millimeter circular hole saw and cutting some holes in pieces of wood and just making up my own frame for these things. Now, something else to note, um, the 18650s says charge voltage up to 4.1 volts. For the 10 amp hours, that's the 33140s, charge uh, from, or usable voltage from 1.5 to 4 volts. And these very large ones, the 18 amp hours, charge voltage is actually 3.9 volts. So as the cell size increases, the maximum charge voltage appears to reduce somewhat. Now the next thing is how do I connect to these? The positive and negative terminals, this is negative with the black plastic cover there, have these aluminium um, posts and they've got these very short cylindrical but only about one and a half millimeters long um, posts onto which to connect. Now my temporary connection solution was simply to shove a magnet on it, um, but this is aluminium, so of course the magnet doesn't stick. So I can't use magnets to connect to that. 
Um, I'm not sure how you're in, meant to actually connect to this. I suspect um, that this is just a bridging bar between two electrode posts which drop down into the cell, which I believe are these two. And then this is just a bridging part offering this as your connection point. And I don't know, are you supposed to weld to this? But then of course you've got to weld to aluminium. And I know there's TIG welding for aluminium, but um, I don't have anything which will weld to aluminium, unfortunately. Um, my intention is to use this uh, nickel plated steel strip, but I can't weld uh, this strip onto the aluminium. I have looked up articles on welding steel to aluminium and uh, of course aluminium has a much lower melting temperature and uh, people say it's very hit or miss. So I'm going to have to come up with something else and actually the spot welder that I've got specifically says um, it is forbidden to spot weld aluminium and copper pole lugs and soft clad aluminium pole lugs. Well, these are obviously aluminium lugs and aluminium, of course, has a much lower resistivity than does steel. So I imagine the spot welder is saying that um, because the current through the MOSFETs when you spot weld is going to be a lot higher if the bulk of what you're welding to is aluminium and not steel. So I've had to come up with another idea and what I've come up with is this. I bought this set of circlips. Um, now the lug on the end is 10 millimeters diameter. That's the 10 millimeter circlip, but it's smaller than that when it's closed. It's 10 millimeters when it's pushed open. So I'm actually going to use the 11 millimeter circlip. Now that's a loose fit on the end of there because obviously you're meant to use the 10 millimeter circlip, but I've bent the end of this steel strip over. And if I put the circlip in like that, then when I clamp that onto there, and it's quite difficult to do because I haven't got circlip pliers. Let's try doing it with normal pliers. I've got to push them apart to get that on. And yes, that is on. I think that's probably good enough. I think the contact area between the aluminium lug and the, now these are stainless steel circlips. I think the, between the lug and the circlip is fine. And then that is pretty tight, probably as good as a couple of spot weld points. Um, I reckon that's good for 10 amps and I'm only going to be using these up to about 10 amps even though I believe because they're 18 amp hours um, I'd have to look at the specs as to what the standard charge and discharge currents are. Well here we are look standard charging current is 0.5c so that's 9 amps standard discharge current is the same maximum discharge current is just 1c well that's 18 amps in the case of these cells and maximum continuous discharge current again 1c so 18 amps and look at the temperature range from minus 30 degrees c right let's check the voltage of this cell there's a light on here if i press and hold that uh, the reason i'm using this clamp meter is because because it has no 10 amp uh, input, there's absolutely no danger of getting the probes wrong <laughs> and shorting out the cell. So the voltage on the positive stud there is 3.179. Now, interestingly, there's a voltage on the can, which is this thing here, and it's 1.945, which is really strange. But this seems to be some sort of weird capacitive effect because if I look at it now, it's 2.83 and rapidly falling. And all I did was I got this bulb and I touched it between the positive and this casing here briefly. Oops, keep my negative on there. And that briefly lifts the casing up to the same three volts as the terminal. But yeah, that's really strange that the casing is not connected to either the positive or the negative, but kind of takes on this weird half voltage. 
But let's just try and light this bulb. Now this is a 24 volt bulb, so it's not going to be very bright on three volts. Let's try and light it from that. Okay, there is the faintest dim glow on the filament there. Now, what about the sodium ion BMS? Well, the specification I've got uh, says applicable voltage 12, 36 or 48 volt. Well, this is a 4S BMS, so the applicable voltage is 12 volts. Over discharge protection voltage is 1.5 volts and the overcharge protection voltage is 3.9 5, which looks like a bit of a compromise, 3.9 for these big cells, uh, 4 volts for the uh, 33140 cells, and the little 18650s will actually go up to 4.1, but not with this BMS it would seem. And they've actually got the balance voltage as 4.2. Now that doesn't make much sense, so I will ask Hakadi for some clarification on the balance voltage for this BMS. So coming up I'm going to make a 4S sodium ion pack using the 33140 cells with a sodium ion BMS and I'm also going to make a 4S pack using these ooh, 47 about 160 I think they are cells uh, mounted on some sort of wooden contraption using my circlip interconnecting method and again using a sodium ion 4S BMS. So a big thanks to HakadiBattery.com for supplying uh, these cells and these BMSs. I will of course put links to all these items in the description below this video. But that's where I shall leave it today so cheerio!